So there we have it people, um, the last one box off before the big day on Saturday, uh, let's get a two day break now, a little carb up tonight and tomorrow, so excited for that, um, so we boxed off 3k then, uh, let me just, I'll show you now, uh, 12.37.4.12 which is probably the fastest hardest I've ever run and it is the hottest day outside, it's 24 degrees today, um, obviously it's going to be higher than that as well but very tough, took a toll on the lungs, but I felt really good. Um, there was a bit of an elevation at the end, which is good for training, don't get me wrong. Um, but it was tough, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, uh, that killed me off. So, done a little quick cool down at the end just to be to be safe, you don't want to be getting no injuries, do we? So, you know, I'm excited now and I can't wait for Saturday to be honest with you. And then, one or two days downtime afterwards, regroup, um, back to the drawing board and see where we want to go from it from here. So. You no, know, I hope you all enjoying the content, uh, and hopefully, you know, we've been a good race on Saturday. So I look forward to catching up with you, and I'll see you all then. So it's here, it's race day, uh, six o'clock. Just gonna have some porridge now. Um, take a banana with me, and I'm should be good to go. I should be carved up, feeling good. Woke up, pound heavy on the scale, so hopefully that's glycogen. Uh, I did feel full, felt feel good, so yeah, I'm just gonna get some oats down me now and then on the road ahead, and I'll update you when we're So, we've done it, uh, I'll probably put up yeah, what the um, times was, I think it was 144 I got, um, then we got 139 and I think I got 148, something like that, but yeah, that was good, um, didn't put my headphones in the whole way, I just sort of wanted to be with myself and with my thoughts and I feel like it benefited me, especially at the end. I try and go through the pace as well. Um, hopefully, if I can get that off the Argarmen. But um, again, <laughs> I started the watch, the watch late, but you know we had a GPS tracker on, so it went uh, too bad. So as you can see, I'm just in bed now. Just, just gonna put my feet up. I didn't get to like I couldn't really get much content because where, as you see, where the car park was literally. That's where the um, that's where the start was. So. Yeah, to be honest, it threw me off because of how hilly it was, but I feel like I definitely run quite quick for what I thought I would as well, so you know, it just shows that on the day you put the work in, um, you got the right mentality, you can definitely push yourself. Uh, I'd love to see what I could do on a flat surface because it was far from it today. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to rest up now. We had, we had a quick um, bite to eat on the way home. I just I got goujons and chips and we had a pint and just to chill because we was getting cramps especially with me driving I was just cramping up all the time so but honestly I appreciate all the support all the uh, all the love on Instagram and stuff like that so if you do want to follow me on Instagram it's just macha zero underscore zero but I'll link it below anyway for you and yeah uh, just going to take a day or two off I don't know if I'm going to take that off from the gym or whether I'm going to Go to the gym tomorrow, we'll see. I'm going out tonight, you see, so um, let me see what the damage is done. And then, yeah, reset goals, see where we want to be at with it. So, looking forward to it. Uh, I love having a goal to just work towards, you see, and I feel like everyone should as well. But yeah, I'm just literally going to chill for a bit, let my legs rest up because trying to get up and down the stairs then was a struggle, I can't lie. And then get a shower and go out so looking forward to it it's been a good day successful day proud of myself proud of the boys so much really i can say and um, all, all of the hard work we put in paid off at the end of the day and that, you know, i was so confident going into it because 
I'd done all the work and, and that's that's what confidence is, you know. You put the hard work into something, you shouldn't feel, yeah, we got a bit of nerves at the start, but you shouldn't feel anxious because at the end of the day, you've put the hard work in, you've just got to perform on the day. And not every time you're going to perform, don't get me wrong, but I suppose I did today and I was, I was proud of myself, so yeah. Um, I catch it all in the next slip. I don't know if I'll even put anything in the next slip, but uh, again, thanks for, for, the, for the support, like, comments, and subscribe and all that if you if you like the content and I'm sure there were more more content going forward but now I've got a bit more time I'll be able to throw a bit of chain and footage in as well for like bodybuilding hypertrophy because I'm, I'm gonna st stick with that for um, the foreseeable as well so like hybrid athlete chain and really so yeah uh, catch us in the next clip or the next video I don't know what I'm gonna do yet so see you later So, it's a few days after the race now, um, still feeling a, a bit tired, Doms are sort of going now from the run, um, to be fair the day after went too bad, it was today and yesterday, which was the day after the day after, that was the worst, um, got a bit of a cold from the you know, tax on, on the central nervous system, which was expected, but we should be fine to get back in the gym today. Nice push session going down, um, probably take it a bit easier than what I normally would, and I'll see how I feel when I get there, but I definitely want to get back in. And I had a coaching call yesterday with Josh just to sort of reassess where we are, see what goals we want to do, and um, what the future holds, and so that's what this video is about. And, Obviously, you can tell by the title, uh, fat to fit, you know, literally uh, a year to today it is. So, two days difference from the run was when you know, I decided to make a change to my life and get back to, to where I was before lockdown, get back on my feet. And you know, I've learned so much since then, um, not just mentally, uh, physically, just every aspect really. Um, I've learned to understand myself a lot more going through it and yeah it's been a journey but I think it was a journey that needed to happen to, to get to where I am today and you know you always hear about people saying things happen for a reason and, and definitely they do um, but you've got to sort of take that in your stride and, and utilise like the bad things that go wrong or things that you're not happy with, the insecurities and stuff like that to, to better yourself and push yourself further than what you are and just become the best version of you. Like I'm always saying, it's, it's a, a very big mental game. I used to uh, like the quote about you come rich in your mind way before you're doing your bank and it, it sort of applies to everything. It is, as long as you're having these thoughts and you know, these confirmations in your mind about where you want to be and you know who you want to be, what you want to do and then you can set goals and plan and take steps on there to, to implement them daily habits to, to get to where you want to be. It all starts with a thought and you know we all have the thoughts but a lot of people don't take action on them and I think that's what we definitely need to start doing. Um, taking action is the main, the main thing, you know, knowledge isn't just power um, on its own, you've got to apply the knowledge you learn to, to make power. So, yeah, it's been a journey. Um, I just want to show showcase and all that. Everyone else can can sort of do it. So probably put a, a picture in the thumbnail on um, the screen about where I was a year ago, and obviously you can see where I am today. Um, seven stone down. Probably do a quick um, before and after plus like a scale. What do you call it? Check in and stuff like that. Um, just to show the results and you know I, I definitely want to do a, a breakdown of the whole journey and um, what I've done when what I implemented because obviously I'm doing the running now which is sort of a personal goal just to push myself and it was definitely a mental game when I was there but I felt like I put all the uh, all the hard work in training and it showcased on the day you know I, I finished and better time than what I thought it was and plus the course was a lot harder, it was a lot more hills than what we expected. So um, you know, I'm happy and proud of that but it, it all comes down to you again that you've got to you've got to 
tight action you've got to put put the work in. There's no one else that's going to do it for you. And it's the mental shift I want to get into to all your minds about about doing so. And you know, it, it's you've just also got to take it day by day and do what you can today that you know is going to benefit you in the future. And it comes back to that delayed gratification. So yeah, um, it's not much more I want to say on the matter. Um, just. You know, you've seen what, I, what I've done. If you feel like you're in similar situation to what I was last year, it's definitely possible to, to get out of that hole. Or to, and that doesn't just mean weight; it can be anything. It could be just working towards better life, a better job. You know, anything literally. As long as you start making, if you want to make a change, you've got to start doing the daily things today. And it does get easier. Um, obviously, the first initial one. You're probably gonna be motivated to do so, but after a week, that motivation will go, and that's why you need discipline to to hold your fort and keep you going, even when you don't feel like it. And, and that's what I've done, you know, every day, ten thousand steps, tracked all my calories, and you know, some people might think oh, I don't want to do that. You know, it, it it's what you need to do, um, and if that's if you really do want a, a better life, if you want to lose weight, whatever your goal is, whatever you need to do, <laughs> you need to do it, you, you, you just got to do it regardless of how you feel about doing it, it it's got to be done, otherwise you're not going to get to them, them places, so, and this is what I try and, uh, sort of, instill in all my clients, all my, or just all the people around me really, it's just about doing the things that you don't want to do, even when you don't feel like it, but you know you should do, and it's something I've learned from the life of Jordan Peterson, and, um, a few psychologists, which is something that I'm quite interested in, it's definitely helped me massively. So, it just goes to show, you know, your mind is, is more important than anything. Once you've got your mind right, the body follows, um, you start being more positive, and, and other people notice it, and they have around me. So, um, and it's not, not even just like a personal thing, you know, I want to I wanna help other people, so it's not just I want me to be better. It, I want to used to be better than people around me to be better as well. So, yeah, um, I don't want to go too deep and I don't want to go too much into detail for this video because, like I said, I want to do a separate video on the full breakdown and, and how you can make a similar change physically. Um, but, yeah, uh, first half marathon boxed off, big accomplishment, um, definitely not the last. Probably going to do maybe another one the back end of the year and then who knows what the plan is next year, I'm going to get myself a bike and then push, uh, just push myself, uh, just, I literally just want to try everything that I haven't done before just for the experience and, and it will benefit me mentally just to say I've done something that not many people have, do, have done or not many people are willing to do um, so it sort of motivates me in that way and keeps me going to, to push the water and you know, it, as I've always said, it's good to have a goal, so I can plan plan ahead and, and have you know, an actual destination every day to wake up and, and want want to do something, want to to better myself, and I can plan my days out where a lot of people just fill the gaps in the day because they don't have nothing planned, they don't have no goals, you know, they fill the days out with entertainment, telly putting the scroll on and you know it's understandable because there's nothing else they've got planned it, it, you've sort of feel you've got that feeling of boredom and, and apathy don't you where and we all know how much dopamine is released during and, um, the quick scroll through tiktok and all the different colors and combinations going on so um that's what you've got to, you've got to be careful of you've got to limit yourself um, how much you go on it but yeah I'll, I'll speak about that more in the future so this is it um, fat to fit <laughs> um, we've done it I suppose um, still not still not the end definitely still work in progress but you know it's a big um, a big accomplishment for myself and I hope a few people sort of it changes off the back of this, regardless of what they are, they can be big or small. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.